So now uh, the next question, ungroup the group lifestyle data and infrastructure. So when you already created a group, you can always afterwards ungroup these data sets. Your uh, group is deleted, but your soil data sets within this group are not deleted. How we can ungroup it? Just right click the button and here we can see ungroup, green screen, ungroup. See that uh, these uh, data sets are still present but uh, the group are already deleted so activate the data frame 3 and add the layer soul data so we uh, can we activate not new data frame 3 new data frame and now uh, remember that we saved uh, our groups as layer files so we can add them so uh, it's within our workspace so these are two our uh, layer files we can add them uh, here our uh, layer files see uh, so uh, they actually reference are linked to this uh, actually uh, how we could uh, how we could uh, add uh, these layer groups uh, because uh, without adding spatial data sets these are uh, actually these layer groups uh, store information uh, to these two layers these two vector data sets streets and paths their, uh, their location and here see this location and uh, this location of the paths and when we add a layer file they ac actually uh, ma make a link of this group to these two data sets and represents them on a view window so remove the data frame uh, new data frame actually new data frame new data frame new arcmap document it's easy to remove always you can always remove your data frame just make a remove okay so uh, the next question and uh, zoom in to the points in the loft uh, top left corner of the data set LULC and zoom back to the full extension so uh, uh, show LULC vector so uh, let's go to the data frame one and uh, we can close here uh, see that uh, actually uh, uh, here we have uh, the symbology and so uh, I made this map LULC more visually presentable so the question is just to zoom to this pond on the top left bottom how we can do it uh, we can just use this uh, tool plus you can see zoom zoom plus and we just uh, draw a polygon here uh, the, to the area we need and it automatically zooms our uh, our uh, area we can always uh, zoom back here uh, go to the previous extent see we can also zoom back and we can use all the options as well so uh, activate data frame one open the attribute table of data sets uh, of the data sets uh, streets actually here and uh, activate the data frame open the attribute table of the data set one uh, streets so i close here and just open my data uh, open attribute table of streets can see the street names length etc so uh, what future type does this table contain future type of this table is we can see here it's a polyline right so future type is poly polyline uh, so the next question uh, how many uh, how many attributes does this table contain write down the attributes of this table so uh, we have uh, we have four uh, attributes fid shape street name and length fid uh, shape it's our uh, compulsory street name and length uh, next question and uh, 
how many records does this table contain how many records we can see here it's uh, 52 right 52 records 52 records do the same for the data set soil dots and soil map so uh can now open soil uh, close here and uh, you can also do the same things with soil dots for instance i just mentioned here that uh, and uh, the uh, we ha here we have uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine nine attributes so with uh, nine records as well and the shape is point feature type and soil map uh, here we have uh, one two three four five six seven eight eight uh, attributes and uh, the uh, and the number of records are six so just write here the the number of attributes and number of records and number of uh, number of uh, 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 the type of uh, feature describe in your own own word what kind of information a records can records contain so uh, uh, how uh, well a uh, record in a factor data set for instance here right uh, one record is one uh, geometric object here right so FID1, uh, ID1, etc. Here we can see that one object, so one uh, vector data set, one future, uh, uh, one record contains information of one geometric object in a vector data set. So uh, one record is one geometric object uh, slash future in vector while in raster data set uh, this is the situation is different uh, we will talk about raster data sets in other in other uh, tutorials so uh, question do you use the, uh, the identified tool to use the attributes of one of the features of the soil map data set note that the attributes are displayed of the topmost layer which is the default setting this means that when you uh, when uh, features from different datasets overlap, only the attribute information of the feature that is on the top is displayed. You can change the default setting by clicking the drop down arrow in identify result. So uh, now we will talk about identify tool. Here we can see that identify tool, right? Uh, we can pull, push it here and uh, now. Okay, how what is the usefulness of this tool? We just can uh, click it here to this polygon and now uh, we automatically see the attributes of this polygon uh, with the value okay this is the usefulness of this polygon so without going to the attribute field we without searching it this object uh, this polygon in attribute field uh, we can uh, uh, um, we can visually see the which uh, attributes does this table contain and does this object contain and here is uh, also uh, you should mention you should know identify from so th here we uh, saw here we see the topmost layer is selected but actually uh, when you for instance uh, for instance use this uh, option again with our topmost layer see uh, the actually it uh, okay in just a minute topmost layer again is all uh, when you when it changed to all layers see uh, actually uh, we can see here that uh, it selects not only from the soil map but also selects with uh, the, from other uh, other data sets uh, which are situated in this table of contents for instance here again see that's all, not only soil map right it's lulc this polygon selected uh, LULC vector, etc. So uh, select uh, visible uh, topmost when we uh, just put only to select only topmost layer, select it again. See, only soil map is selected. So we should mention or you should remember this. Uh, 